Welcome to my channel. Oh my goodness, I started this vlog on such a random note. But we are going to Nazma. I'm with my mom. I'm currently at the airport waiting for the flight to, to board. And we're on time, that's what I really love. And yeah, so we're just waiting. Catch up with you guys later. So now let me just show you my outfit. So I'm wearing these pants, these purple pants and a bum jacket. But I'm literally wearing it is so light. And I'm happy to see this But I'll catch up with you guys later. Let me just show you the scenery. And I think it's just in my house. I think we're about to go down. So just catch up with you guys. breakfast at dinner so yeah i'll definitely catch up with you guys later when we get to nice now So I'm just gonna do a quick room tour. So you walk in, and this is the room. It is so beautiful. Then you have your study desk over there. You have your fireplace over here. We don't know how to light it, but we'll see. We'll, we'll manage. Then you have your bed. You have your TV. The guy actually opened it, so this, which I find quite cool because I've never seen that before. See how cool, how cool. I'll get to the outdoor area last because I haven't seen it. But you also have your closet space over here, your mirror, and the bathroom. Ooh, this is very beautiful, guys. This is your bathroom, this is your bathtub, and then you have your robes. You have two robes. That's me and my mom, so two robes. I am obsessed with this bathroom. It is so beautiful. And apparently you can like open these up. So, I don't know, let's see if we can do that now. Oh, you can, you can open and close that. <laughs> then you have your shower. The shower and then you have your toilet area how cute okay, so now let us go out into the star of the show 
which is definitely this outdoor area guys this view oh my gosh this view is amazing so let's just open this up and just see oh, guys this is so beautiful this is the outdoor area and apparently they warned us about baboons that come into a place looking for food so we're quite creeped out about that but yeah so that's your room tour <laughs> Today is a Thursday and we are having breakfast. Yesterday we were so tired. We just got to the place. Uh, we shot a little bit of content by the pool and we just slept. It was just a very long day and I think we were also tired from traveling because we hadn't like uh, traveled in a very long time. So I think that's why. But today is a different day. We are going to have fun. We're going to do a lot of activities. As you can see, we're currently having breakfast. After breakfast, we're going to um, Naisna Mall or the waterfront. We'll see. Naisna Mall to go get a few things um, that we didn't bring along. And then from there, we are going to the Elephant Park, I think. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. And I'll keep you updated. And we'll see as the, goes, the day goes by. Hi, hi. So we are currently at Naisna Mall. We were just getting like a few snacks, some gym wear because we really didn't pack gym wear. And I also got a tracksuit because the weather, like I said, is quite funny. So I just needed something warm. I don't know why I didn't pack adequately. I was just overexcited and I literally did not pack properly. But it's okay, not a train smash. So now we're going back to the hotel, just waiting for the transport. And um, we are going on a boat cruise, well a yacht cruise. I'm really excited about that. My mom is even dancing, she's also excited. <laughs> so yeah, that's... So we are a bit early for our boat ride. So we're just having a few drinks. I'm having a pina colada. And mom is having... Tonic with lemonade. Okay. Mom is having gala tonic with lemonade. Mm -hmm. And we are at Sirocco. Yeah, Sirocco restaurant. Okay, we'll catch up with you guys in the cruise. Okay, so we are here. We are at um, Teason Islands, and we are going for our our yacht cruise with ocean sailing charters. It is so beautiful, guys! Oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous. So yeah, okay. Cause when my heart beats all the time And I'm left open one day You'll be mine Or maybe today You're the sea There's nothing special about you When my heart beats all the time And I'm left open one day You'll be mine Maybe too 
coming to the gym at the resort. So I'm just going to show you this view because I'm in. It is so beautiful. And then I'm going to show you guys the gym. Just show you this view quickly. How gorgeous. It is a morning and this is the greatest morning view. I will not lie. Oh my goodness. This place is just so beautiful. Okay, let's just walk in. So the gym is actually in the spa. This is my mom over here. Say, yeah, she's already started. And I was like, I have to vlog. I can't start without vlogging. And that's the spa over there. But we're, I'm not sure if we're going to go to the spa. But yeah, this is the spa. And they said that this is a heated pool. And we are allowed to use the heated pool in the spa which is quite cool there's no one on the desk over there okay and let us head to the gym i had to actually it's so loud in here okay so this is the gym right and i'm so happy it's empty they only allow four people in here because of um covid restrictions and here is my gym outfit guys these pants are so big these pants are so big I'm actually holding them at the back um, but third, I didn't bring gym clothes so we actually had to go buy gym clothes at Mr. Price I was so obsessed with this color with this um, lavender color and I had to buy these pants but look how big they are at the back let me just get closer to the mirror they are so big they are huge but I love the color and I told myself that when I get home I'm just gonna alter I'm just gonna alter the pants. But yeah, this is my fit from Mr. Price and that's how big they are. So we're just gonna work out. I'm not gonna take a lot of workout snaps because it is a vacation vlog, okay? So yeah, I'm not here to show you guys how to exercise. I'm just here to show you guys what we're up to. Okay, so let me just get on with it and then after this we're gonna go for a hike which I'm also very excited about. See you guys later! Hi guys, so now we are going on a hike. We are on the Fisherman's Trail by Pazula and it is so amazing. It's breathtaking. The views are breathtaking. Let me show you guys a glimpse of the view. This is how it is. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Right? It looks like a backdrop of some sort. It's breathtaking. So, yo, did my mom leave me? Yeah, I can't see her. She left me. Okay. So, okay, I can see her. So, yeah, this is our hike. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay guys, so turns out we were lost, but now we don't know which way. Okay, let's just go this way. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, Hile, there's that sign, Yaku Fisherman's Trail. Oh. Yeah. Hiking trail, turn right. Okay, let me show you guys the sign. It is so beautiful here. Oh, yo, Kasi is a serious hiking trail. <laughs> Guys, look at this route. This route. No, it was necessary. Okay. <laughs> Here is there some sort of light now. Wow, this is a serious hiking trail. Are just resting. We are at the forest loop. Forest loop. Thank you, Mama. And yeah, we're just chilling before we go back they said we should take the same route back or else we're gonna get lost 
so yeah Park. We are going to see the elephants in eight minutes. So they gave us some food for the animals. There's my mom. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Hi. She looks nice. So yeah, we're just waiting for them to come fetch us. This is quite a cute, cool place. It's so cool considering the fact that elephants are my favorite animals. An elephant is my favorite animal. So I'm quite excited. So yeah, we're we'll literally so late i was so late for my flight like i got to the airport at the time when i was supposed to be boarding so you can imagine i was sprinting across the airport sprinting i'm like i can't miss this flight so i made it it was very dramatic it was a mess and I left on time. I think I was just late because there was um, traffic due to the rain and there's always traffic on a Friday. So I know next time to leave at least two hours or three hours early if I'm going to catch a flight on a Friday. But anyway, as I mentioned, I'm in East London. So I'm just quickly going to give you guys a room tour. Um, it's very cute. It's a cute place. I love it. So we're staying at Stumble Inn in East London. So I'm here for a work event. And yeah, let me show you guys the room. Okay. All these niggas, every bone and muscle. Steady taking shots, never hurting them. Even then, y'all don't worry nothing. And I'd like to give a shout out to my niggas with the game plan. And shout out to my niggas with escape plans. Uh, 20 bands, rain dance. We can either rain check or we can make plans. Rock it loaded, rock it loaded, can't let's rock and roll it. Time to smoke, lock, stop it. I'm smoking barrels, locked and loaded. Diamonds glowing, chop climbing on them. We think I'm jumping out the window, I got them open. Line around the corner, line 
line them up the block and open. Sometimes I even stop the smoking when it's time to focus. My shade, be your, my pain, for love. Create, explore, expand, come forth. I can't, I swore, I can't, I swore. I praise the Lord, the break, the Lord. I take, I'm trying to take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I can't, I swore, I can't, I swore. I praise the Lord, the break, the Lord. I take, I'm trying to take some Good morning guys! Today is a Saturday. I just got up. It's about 6.30 right now. So I know I said I was going to vlog and say goodnight to you guys. But you all guys, I was so defeated last night. I had the worst sushi I've ever tasted in my life. Guys, I was so defeated. I just went to sleep. I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm not even going to order anything else. I'm just going to sleep because what the hell is this? Guys, let me show you the sushi. It was so bad. I ordered it from delivery. And I've never tasted anything like that in my life. I got food from Fear Fact. <laughs> but here is the sushi, guys. No. No. It was very bad. It tasted very bad. But anyway, it's okay. It's a new day. We move, we move, we move. So today is the day of the work event. I'm quickly going to shower, have a coffee, be revived, be ready for the day because it's going to be a very big... Sorry, guys. We got cut off. But, oh, I'm currently in the bathroom because I want to start getting ready. But, um, I think that was my phone. I need to go check who that is. But anyway, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later when we are at the event. Um, I'm going to start getting ready now. But, like I said, I'm here to work. So, I'm not going to be vlogging. I'm just going to show you the scenery. Um, the event is going to be on the beach. It's a marathon active event. So, I'm going to be very busy. So I'm just going to have my phone. I'm not even going to use my camera to vlog there because I just want to have my phone and I want to make things easier for me where I don't have to be huddling things, you know, when it's time to leave because I am flying out today evening. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys and I'll show Taking shots never hurting them Even then y'all don't worry none And I'd like to give a shout out to my niggas with the game plan And shout out to my niggas with escape plans uh, 20 bands, rain dance We can either rain check or we can make plans Rock it loaded, rock it loaded, can't let's rock and roll it Time to smoke, lock, stop it, I'm smoking barrels, locked and loaded Diamonds blowing, chop, climbing on them You think I'm jumping out the window, I got them open Line around the corner, line them up the block and open Sometimes I even stop the smoking when it's time to fall My shade, be your, my pain, for love Create, explore, expand, come for I can't, I swore, I can't, I swore I praise the Lord, the break, the Lord I take, I'm trying to take some more It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours I can't, I swore, I can't, I swore Your girl Shiloh Mabale back with a, another trip. So today we are having a solo location. I'm actually excited for today. I'm excited for this vlog actually because we have three different trips in one vlog and I just thought of the idea of putting everything together and talking about the different experiences of each trip because the first trip as you saw was me and my mother Nizna. the second trip was an East London trip and it was a work trip and now it is a solo location so different trips different company um, different cities which is quite exciting um, so today we are going to the cradle boutique hotel I'm gonna put a screenshot here or over here I found the place on booking.com Funny story, actually, I had insomnia a few days ago and I just decided to plan a solo location or a staycation. Initially, I wanted a place that was a bit far um, so that I can have like a long trip, have a playlist, um, stop at different locations and buy stuff or just sit and have a drink. You know, I wanted that kind of vibe. But at the same time, I didn't want a place that was too far. Um, I have driven long distances before, so that's not a problem. I've driven from Bulukwani to Joburg and Joburg to Bulukwani. So I'm um, driving is not a problem. The problem is just that I'm familiar with that route and 
I was kind of skeptical about just, you know, going to a different city that I've, I'm not really familiar with alone and driving and safety and that sort of thing. But maybe it's just me, but hopefully later I'll be more comfortable to do that. So then I was looking at um, places that are close to the Gauteng province or in the Gauteng province per se. Looking at Pretoria as well or the outskirts of Joburg or Pretoria. But since it was short notice, most of the really, really nice places that I wanted to go to are fully booked this weekend and it's also payday weekend, so it's understandable. Um, so yeah, I opted to go to the Cradle Boutique Hotel and I was so, so lucky to get like a discount from booking.com. I'm very, very happy because it is a really fabulous place to stay at. If you're looking for like a safari vibe um, that's close by, that's perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So I'm about to go to the mall to just get a few things that I'm going to need for um, the trip. So first things first, I'm looking at the weather and I'm quite disappointed. Oh, <laughs> I'm so disappointed because I had this cute little short itinerary planned out, nothing hectic, but as me and my mom said in the beginning, whether it's raining or it's hailing or there's a tornado, that bikini is going to be worn. Okay, okay. So I wanted to get like a leopard print swimsuit because it is a safari vibe, you know. Um, so I wanted to get that at the mall and get like a cute jacket to wear as a shirt dress. I saw one at H&M and I saw one at um, Foschini, so I wanted to get that as well. That's in the clothing department. Everything else I think I'm sorted. And I also wanted to get some snacks and some wine for um, the evening. And what else did I want to get? I actually wrote a list of the things that I want to get. So let me just check that out and then I will tell you guys. Yeah, okay, my, my list actually consists of everything that I'm going to need for the, for the trip. It's actually like a budget type of list, type of checklist. So yeah, I'll definitely put a screenshot of it over here. I think especially when you're traveling alone or traveling in general or having a trip in general, Having a list is so important because um, it helps you budget, it helps you stay within your budget um, and also when you're like getting stuff at the mall for your trip, you don't go over budget just getting random things or you don't forget stuff. So yeah, a list is quite important. So I just put a, put a list together of the things that I'm going to need and the things that I want to get at the mall. So let me get going. Check-in is at 2 o'clock and I am running a bit late um, because I have a few other things that I need to do. But at least I've cleaned my place, basics, just so that my place is clean when I leave. And by the time I come back, I'm not stressed about having to clean up stuff. So let's do this. I forgot to show you this tripod, um, this tripod stand that I got from Take A Lot. And I must say, it is the perfect tripod stand, the perfect camera stand. The previous one that I got from Take A Lot was so bad, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it broke after a month of using it. It couldn't hold the camera. Um, but I think it's also my mistake because I selected a tripod um, that was not really for a camera per se. It said, I forgot, I'm gonna put a screenshot here, but I got it last year and it said that it can accommodate a camera, right? But it was not strong enough to hold my camera because mine is a Canon um, EOS 500D, so it's quite heavy. So it couldn't hold the camera, so it broke, sadly. But I got this one and guys, I am so obsessed with it. Quick release plate also for your for your camera like you don't have to be like with my previous tripod let me explain with the previous tripod i'd have to like twist in the camera into the tripod but with this one you can literally take out the plate which has the 
that thing man to put in the camera <laughs> and then you twist it onto your camera very easily and then you can clip your camera with that plate inside the camera so basically if you don't want to use the tripod anymore you can literally just remove um, the plate with the camera easily instead of having to twist out the camera which is what I like about that very very cool and the length as well it holds the camera perfectly it is so efficient I love this tripod stand guys if you're looking to get a tripod stand for your camera I will definitely put it over here or over here so you can get one I'm talking too much I'm just blabbing for about things that are not as important as the things that I need to do oh and it also comes with a bag guys so if you're traveling like me like today you can just slip it in your bag and you're sorted okay let me get going Mwah. It's cute, yes, but not for 800. Yes. For the price, this is stunning. One thing about me, I am late. I am so, 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 so late. I'm probably going to get there during dinner time. But it's whatever, it's whatever. So I'm just going to have to like, kind of like adjust my schedule a little bit. So I got back from the mall. I packed very quickly. <laughs> I packed very, very, very quickly. Um, I know I didn't forget anything because um, like I made, made a mental list, not a list on my phone, a mental list. So I'm quickly going to GPS to the Cradle Boutique Hotel. Okay, what's going on with my GPS? It's been weird. Ninayona data na. Okay, let me buy data. I think I ran out of data. Okay. So I'm going to GPS to the Cradle Boutique Hotel and then yeah like I am so indecisive I think I got delayed at the mall and that was completely just me. Problem started when I couldn't find the leopard print um, bikini actually I found it at Cotton On but there were just bottoms there and not the bra. So I wanted them to check for me if they have the bra at Four Ways Crossing but they were like they can't check if they don't have the bra so I was like oh okay cool and it's Friday the traffic in Four Ways is just ridiculous so I was also thinking about that and I was a bit lazy to go to um, Four Ways Crossing so I literally just did rounds at the mall looking for something and yo. Oh, I wasted so much time but anyway let me just buy data so that I can get going okay I'll show you guys my outfit when I get there and yeah let's go guys yeah 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 what a disaster can you guys see how long it's gonna take me to get there like I said I'm gonna get there at dinner time okay so I'm definitely not going to go to the pool today I'm probably just gonna go straight to dinner when I get there. I don't even know if it's gonna be light enough for me to do a room tour. I might have to do it in the morning. But let's get going, guys. Okay, so I have. 
have arrived as you can see so let me just check in quickly and then I'll catch up with you guys later okay now I don't know where to go I think I'm going straight okay all right I think I'm gonna go there restaurant parking and what I think it says hotel guest parking okay, I'm supposed to go there okay okay guys so I just arrived I want to focus because I want to show you guys how beautiful everything is yeah there we go got the focus yeah that's another chalet over there I'm gonna do like an outside tour properly um, tomorrow morning um, but look at this view guys isn't it amazing you are just in touch with nature and yourself I love it so here are two camp chairs there's two um, sun beds is that what they're called over there but I'm alone of course so I'll use all four of these chairs <laughs> okay and then you enter into the room guys look at the room from the outside doesn't it look amazing it looks incredible hey then you have a um, king-sized bed over there I want to do this room tour when it's light because this camera is not doing it justice but okay you have your king size bed over there um you have your two chairs i'm definitely going to do this tour again tomorrow morning you have your mirror my hat over there we have the closet space and then we have um your white gowns over here um and then we go into oh, this is my favorite place i'm definitely going to take a bath tonight oh my gosh look at that isn't that lovely okay so you have your bathtub and you have mirror over there and um little section over there and then you have another one over here for the other person but i'm obviously alone so and you have a mirror and yo guys my outfit was this bomber jacket this black one i think you guys have seen it before no you haven't and this black um dress from mr price and then i wore it with uh, my puma creepers um okay and my bucket hat yeah that was my outfit but then you have your toilet over there then you have a shower over here and yeah this is a room tour but i'm definitely going to do this room tour prop properly tomorrow morning because guys oh my gosh <sighs> the camera is not doing it justice so i'm now gonna chill go and have dinner and <laughs> So it's about 6.45 and I was just having my morning coffee over there as you can see. I had a blanket and everything but then I did mention in the previous snap that I wanted to give you guys a proper room tour. So let's do it. Okay and I also just want you guys to see this view. How beautiful. It is so peaceful so quiet it's <laughs> 
Females are much, much lighter in the sense of their patterning. Um, and males, this one here is, is a, a very tall male at 4.7 meters, where females only reach. <laughs> So I am back in the room um, I just came back from breakfast and then before breakfast I went on the game drive um, to be quite honest the game drive was just okay it wasn't anything amazing um, we saw giraffe a giraffe and kudus and you know the usual animals no lions no leopards um, but yeah it was okay and I loved how how peaceful it is. Being around nature is always very nice. It just calms you, it soothes you. So I liked that. Um, and yeah, so right now I'm going to go to the pool and just chill there for a second. But I also wanted to just, you know, highlight this vlog and end it off here. Okay, so as mentioned, it is a travel vlog and... I just want to talk about all the trips and just highlighting a few highlights as well. I'm not going to make it too long because it's not a sit down. It is a travel vlog. <laughs> so first trip with my mom was amazing. I think it was the best I've been on this year. Um, so we stayed at the Pazula Hotel. I also wanted to highlight that I didn't vlog as much because I was having so much fun and I wanted to live in the moment but I did capture as much as I could stayed at the Pazula Hotel I found the place on Airbnb I will put a screen grab here or here and we got that room for such a reasonable price especially for the days that we were staying it was very reasonable and I feel like um, next time we have to stay longer because there's so much that we didn't do but regardless we had so much fun so we stayed at the Pazula Hotel uh, when you arrive they give you a glass of champagne whilst you are checking in and you know getting your room key and stuff so that was great that was the clip that I actually um, lost the place is so amazing it's, I absolutely love that resort um, there are a lot of um, houses in the area a lot of holiday houses in the area as well the staff is so lovely and friendly I loved 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 it and then we went on the hike as well we didn't go to the beach 
we expected to get to the beach on the hike so uh, my mom was like yo we're gonna get lost here you know so we just turned back because we literally didn't know which way to go to get to the beach the hike was very tough i must say that was not a baby hike it was a tough hike to be quite honest but it was so amazing um and then we went on the cruise uh we went on the yacht cruise that was also very nice we met some lovely people everyone on that cruise was amazing the crew was amazing the company was amazing it was so lovely and then we went to the mall as well um and transport wise we okay from the airport we took a taxi not a taxi we took a shuttle basically let's call it a shuttle we took a shuttle so there's always people at the airport standing there outside to say if you need a ride to Nizna pull through so we used one of those people and they were also very friendly um i forgot i think we paid like 450 if i'm not mistaken i forgot i literally forgot but transport wise there's always people there to um take you anywhere that you want to go and then um you can even ask at the hotel if you want to go somewhere or you want to go to the beach or you want to go to uh the nearby sit, um, cities you can ask them to organize transport for you they know a lot of people it's very safe they're very friendly and they also know a lot about the area obviously so they advise you on places to go and it is quite reasonable you can negotiate your price with the people there so that was cool um, next time i definitely think hiring a car would be best uh, mainly because it would you know work out cheaper and you could go to more places come back whenever you want to even though the people do wait for you sometimes or they tell you that they can pick you up anytime i think it would be best to hire a car so nice now was just wonderful it was so wonderful we wanted to go to a wine farm next to the elephant um park but that was closed they closed so early they closed at four boring borax <laughs> but that was fine but overall we enjoyed it um so okay so the second trip was of course the work trip it was good i love the people that i work with so apparently it's a tradition for everyone to stay at stumble in in east london when we when people go to that event so that was quite cool um Temple inn is a very quirky place it's very unique um not what i'm used to but it was cool it was cool so the work trip was great and lastly the so location that i'm on i really enjoyed it okay so my camera died but i was basically about to wrap up the vlog thank you so much for watching i will definitely try my best to be as consistent as i can be life happens and we just work with the time that we have so thank you so much again see you in the next vlog or next video